हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई मिस राजश्री कदम लेक्चरर फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ गुरु गोविंद सिंह पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक आई एम हियर टू डिलीवर अ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन प्रोटेक्टिव डिवाइसेस एंड स्विच गियर सो व्हाट इज प्रोटेक्टिव डिवाइसेस अ डिवाइस यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी कंपोनेंट्स इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट अगेंस्ट short circuit over current and earth fault is called as protective devices there are various protective devices like switch fuse mcb mccb elcb etc we will learn it individually first switch a device for making and breaking the connection in an electric circuit is called as switch switches should be connected to the live wire in the circuit and not to the neutral wire there are various types of switches like single pole single throw switch single pole double throw switch double pole single throw switch double pole double throw switch push button float switch toggle switch they are used as per the applications and requirements next fuse fuse is a simple device which breaks the circuit under abnormal condition that is it is only a current interrupting device under fault condition and is not able to make or break the circuit under normal condition a fuse is basically a piece of wire rated for a particular current and has low melting point a fuse element can be made up of copper zinc lead tin aluminum alloys of lead and tin fuse operation a fuse functions as a protector for the circuit by creating an open circuit condition when extreme current is run into the circuit the fuse completes this work by interrupting the current through melting some of its specially designed parts these electrical components are melted by heat generated due to the excessive current in other words we can say fuse is always connected in series with the circuit it allows the current to flow through them and whenever there is an overload in the circuit the excessive current melts the element in the fuse and opens the circuit by disconnecting the power supply and thus the circuit is protected from being get damage here is an example in case 1 fuse allows electricity to pass through it and kettle works that means the current entering in the fuse is less than the fuse rating set by the fuse so fuse element does not break and supply is passed further in case 2 fuse has been blown it does not allow electricity to pass through it and the kettle does not work that means the current entering in the fuse is more than the fuse rating set by the fuse so the fuse element breaks and supply is not passed further to the appliance now what do you mean by fuse rating fuse rating is the current need to blow or break the fuse we can calculate fuse rating by a simple formula that is fuse rating is equal to watts per volt into 1.25 every appliance has a manual in which power of appliance is mentioned using this information you may find the fuse rating of the fuse used for any application or device Here is a video. Fuses are rated by our current and voltage. The current or amp rating determines at what current the fuse will blow and open the circuit. Never use a fuse of a different amp rating. Once a fuse has blown or opened the circuit, the voltage rating is very important. To understand why, think of static shock and how it will shock you before you have touched anything. Static shock is a low current, high voltage discharge. The reason static shock happens before you physically touch an item is because the higher voltage the charge is, the The more potential it has for arcing to complete the discharge. Types of fuse. Fuses are mainly classified into two types: DC fuses and AC fuses. AC fuses are further classified as high voltage fuse and low voltage fuse. These are the types of fuses under the low voltage and high voltage: semi enclosed fuse, totally enclosed fuse. drop out fuse expulsion fuse high rupturing fuse striker fuse and switch fuse 
first is rewirable fuse rewirable fuse also known as kit kat fuse they are mainly used in small scale industry and house wiring it mainly consists of two parts fuse base and fuse link carrier and the fuse element used in this type of fuse are aluminum copper or lead next is cartridge fuse cartridge fuse also known as totally enclosed fuse the fuse link are enclosed in the glass container by having this type of design it helps to keep the electric arc inside the container when it blows out high rupturing capacity hrc fuse there are of two types liquid type hrc fuse and cartridge type hrc fuse liquid type hrc fuse are the most commonly used in high voltage circuit this type of fuse are mainly used for transformer protection and circuits which have more than 400 ampere cartridge type hrc fuse this type of fuse are similar to the low voltage fuses it has ring like shape for removing the corona effect next here is the video showing how fuse actually blows due to over current this including a 6 amp two different types of 4 amp fuses a 2 and a half amp and a 750 milliamp fuse i didn't pick them because of their current ratings i actually picked them because of the different designs of the filaments i wanted to see how each filament reacted to different types of overcurrent situations first i applied a, a moderate overcurrent about 8 amps and afterwards i tried each fuse again but with a dead short with 120 volts applications of fuse the application of fuses includes nearly all electrical and electronic device such as electric wiring at home appliances like ac refrigerator tv washing machine laptops mobile chargers automobiles advantages of fuse fuse are cheapest form of protection available no maintenance is required When compared to circuit breaker, fuse requires less time to react when circuit breaks. Disadvantage of fuse: considerable time is lost due to rewiring the fuses after operation. The current time characteristics of fuses cannot be related with that of protected apparatus. This was all about fuse, types of fuses and the application. In next video lecture, we will study about MCB, its operation and applications. till that stay connected to my channel thank you